Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. Happy 4th of July. This video, we're going to continue the remaining Godzilla King of the Monster videos. The mini hindsight series where I take every monster that's in, well not every monster, but our main four monsters. And discuss what I liked about them in the movie, what I didn't like, and what I would change. And this one, we're going to do Ghidorah. Yes. We're going to talk about Ghidorah in this video, and obviously the star villain of the movie, the legendary space three-headed golden dragon. Yes, those exist in fictional storytelling. <laughs> so before I get into this video, though, I want to let you guys know we're doing a huge giveaway on the stream tomorrow night. We have a Godzilla piggy bank the one that you put the coin on the box and Godzilla pops up and grabs the coin and pulls it back in. We got some e-gift movie tickets for Regal Cinema we're giving out. And there's going to be one more surprise giveaway on the stream tomorrow night. That's at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you're there. It's also going to be a special Godzilla King of the Monsters live stream. We're going to be saying goodbye to the March of the King 2 series which has been more or less going on and off for the last five years. It's time to move on to Godzilla vs. Kong. Uh, so we're going to do a hype session, and we're going to obviously talk about some of our favorite moments. I'm going to do a top five favorite moments for Godzilla King of the Monster on the stream, as well as, of course, engage with you guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. You guys know I got the Godzilla music video that I always only show on stream. That I know you guys love. We're going to rock that out again. And of course all the fun stuff that I normally do on stream. That a lot of you guys unfortunately that don't come to the stream. Don't get to see. So try and make it. 9pm Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. It's going to be a lot of fun. Okay so. King Ghidorah in Godzilla King of the Monsters. Was definitely a great highlight. And one of the most amazing things to witness on the silver screen. There's not too much I didn't like about King Ghidorah in this movie. Not at all. In fact, there's a lot of things they did with King Ghidorah that if you guys have been here for a while and you remember my video from about maybe a little over a year ago where I kind of described exactly how I think Ghidorah should be. This is well before the Monarch website came out describing how these monsters were going to be. And I hope... I, I, I'll find a video if I have to. But I spoke about... King Ghidorah actually having an effect on the weather. How if he's flying in the sky, it's almost like you don't see him. You just kind of hear him, you know, or there's a foreboding. There's a sense of scale and shadow that engulfs the area that Ghidorah is in. And they did a lot of that in this movie. Uh, I didn't obviously think of the weather storm at the time, I don't think. But I'll find a video, and if I can, I'll clip it into this one. Or maybe I'll show it on stream tomorrow. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Um... So there's not too much that they did that I didn't like. Uh, I think one of the first things I would say I didn't like was there wasn't as much of the Ghidorah roar as I would have hoped. There were some moments that he had it. Very subtle, but it's there. You can definitely hear it. And, of course, that wonderful foreboding hum that he does when he's flying. Uh, I don't recall hearing it, but many people told me that it was present and one of the particular scenes where you can hear it was towards the end when he flies into Boston. So I'll have to kind of check that out. So, but I would have liked them to be more, you know, forward, more in the forefront of him. You know, that roar, that original roar from uh, the 60s with that, that humming that he does when he flies around. It's one of my favorite things about Ghidorah because it was such a foreboding sound. When he's flying around, especially if you didn't see him. If you heard him, but you couldn't see him, it just it was a, such a great effect. Um, I can't say that there's anything much outside of that that I didn't like. Uh, they, showed more than, they showed more than enough of Ghidorah. I mean, he was the main villain. Uh, the look was on point. I mean, it was completely on point, you know? Uh, a lot of you remember, I didn't think they could pull off the fact that he had two wings... And just walked around. And of course what they did was, which was very clever, they made it so that he could obviously, he was a lot more mobile with his wings. He could move them around much better than he could in obviously the older movies where it was just the wings and they were always kind of just 
sitting there and then when he took flight you know they flap but this one he he could actually maneuver them around and he had a lot more mobility with his wings so they did a lot of things that not only kept to the to the uh the um the spirit of the original creation but they also enhanced it you know and as far as the look the look was very much on point so i can't say that outside of the roar and the hum that i so desire i can't say that there's much more i would change about him in this movie uh, even to the point that you know when it came down to him facing godzilla i still don't think he's quite as strong as he should be but he definitely did a lot more in this movie than he has in the past um you know, I, I would say that the other thing that I think was a little bit questionable was the regeneration, but I can't even say that I hated that. I kind of liked it. You know, he is a space creature. They did mention that. So him having some kind of, of crazy otherworldly powers, it fit. It fit. So I would say there's, there's not too much that I disliked about Ghidorah at all. Um, in terms of what I did like, well, based on my other testimony, pretty much everything. Uh, I did like his roar. That's the funny thing. As much as I missed that original roar, I thought his current roar was just as good. You know, uh, if you guys were on my stream two weeks ago, I was playing some of the highlights of his roars. And there's this one roar that he does when he first comes out of the, uh, the ice. And he kind of turns all three heads. And each head has a different pitch in their roar. It's like one is high, one is low, and then one's like a deep bass. And it's such a terrifying harmony when you hear that roar that it's one of my favorite moments in the movie. Even though it's such a quick moment and it's it's something you really kind of have to pay attention to, it's for some reason that caught me because that, even though we know that all three heads had a different personality, you see that that, that doesn't only run with how they act. It even runs with how they express themselves you know, vocally when it comes to the roaring, you know, one has a higher pitch, one has a lower pitch, and then one has like right in the middle. And it's, a, it makes for a very scary, a very dreadful, but a, at the same time, very beautiful harmonic, like roar, man. It's just so awesome. So that's one of the things I actually love. It's kind of funny how there's one thing, the one thing that I didn't like, and one of the things that I love are actually one and the same, you know? So it's almost like, yeah, I, I missed the original roar, but what they replaced it with was really good. It was really original, and it really just enhances the fact that these three heads have their own personality. What I would change? I think I would change what it took to beat him. Uh, not that I'm saying that Fire Godzilla wasn't dope. It was, and I wouldn't change that, but... I do think for a monster of his caliber, when you look at his size, especially in this movie, when you look at his size, when you look at his effect of his surroundings, what kind of damage he can cause, it would have been really nice to see a nice callback or, or callback to Ghidorah, the three-headed monster, where it takes Mothra, Godzilla, and Rodan to beat him. Uh, obviously, I would have kept much of what the fight ended up being towards the end. But, a f you know, if there were some parts in the movie where Mothra and Godzilla and Rodan reluctantly all joined forth. Well, maybe not reluctantly for Godzilla and Mo Mothra, but maybe Rodan says, all right, I'll help you guys this one time. But after that, I'm doing me. And they all kind of collaborate and they take down or try to take down Ghidorah. And then finally, at the end, instead of having Mothra lay on, you know, uh, Rod uh, Godzilla, you can have a scene where like Mothra flies in after Ghidorah to kind of distract her while an almost dying Rodan comes around and lays down on Godzilla and then Mothra gets killed and right as she gets killed, Rodan sacrifices and gives his power to Godzilla while at the same time the Mothra power comes down and hits Godzilla and then you get the super, you know, mega double kaiju zord Godzilla <laughs> coming out, you know what I mean? Like, it, that's probably the only thing I change. I would give a little bit, you know, if you're going to go fan service, you might as well go all the way and just give that that extra kick, you know, just have Rodan. Don't change Rodan at all, but make him part of the team for that one moment because he knows that's what it takes to beat this monster. And yeah, have Godzilla have the finishing blow. So I think that's pretty much that's pretty much how I would like would have liked to have seen it go down. But overall, I'm really not at all disappointed 
with how they represented King Ghidorah. You know, the Roar thing kind of breaks even because of the fact that I do love the original, but I actually love this one too. I think this one was really good. And at the same time, I loved all his scenes. If anything, I only wanted to enhance just how powerful he is by displaying three monsters teaming up against him as opposed to one Godzilla. But either way, he they did a great job with him. They really did. I have no complaints about King Ghidorah and Godzilla King of the Monsters. And um, if he ever comes back, I'd be very excited to see what it is they're going to do with him. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. This is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news. We just talk entertainment. Take it easy. Thank you for watching ETN. Click here to watch more content. Don't forget to leave a comment. Also, make sure you like and share this video. If you want to know when the next video is up, click the notification bell next to the subscribe button. And most of all, make, make sure, sure to, to click, click that, that subscribe button for regular content. content.